Now we're ready to launch Cubase for the first time, and since we've added a shortcut to our dock, that's very, very easy. All we do is come down to the dock and single click on Cubase 5. When Cubase 5 launches, it's going to show you this splash screen. Now the first time that you launch Cubase 5, it's going to be going through a whole bunch of stuff down here in the lower left hand corner of that display. Now this process may take more time than you think is necessary, but especially the first time you launch Cubase 5, it has to go through and register a lot of things. And it will also increase the time uh, after you install plugins, uh, other third party plugins or Steinberg plugins plugins and so that process can take a while but just be patient because it will finish I promise now the next thing that you're going to see is the Cubase open documents options dialog box and for right now we're just going to hit cancel because as I mentioned in a previous chapter it's very very important to register your software if you've launched Cubase 5 for the first time you may actually see a window that will take you to the registration page if you didn't register your software or if you don't see that screen that asks you uh, if you're already registered or if you'd like to register now or later you can always get to it by going to the help pull down menu Menu and selecting registration. When I click on that, it's going to launch my web browser and it's going to take me to the Steinberg website. As an owner of Cubase 5, it's very, very important to register your software. So once you see that My Steinberg page call up, go to the Create User Account window and create your own user account with a username and password. This is very, very, very important. Please take the time to do this. Once you've created an account and registered your copy of Cubase 5, you can quit your browser and go back to Cubase. Now, we're going to move to our next video, which is assigning your audio interface for use inside of Cubase.